Hello everyone and uh, yeah, everything's still fine. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to December now. Banner plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy The Duelist episode 30. We are on uh, Edge of Elimination part 3. Let's do this. You say now face Team Unicorn's crafty captain, Gene. Congrats on lasting this long. Now your time is up. The time has come for Team Unicorn to lower its horn, charge in, and finish you and Team 5D's off once and for all. Alright, good job. Um... Story deck. I know, it's just like, you say, you say, you say, you say. You know, that's kind of the, the caveat. The, not, I don't think I even know what caveat means anymore, because I keep just using it because I want to. But that's kind of like the... Um, the draw, uh, drawback of this game is that most of the duels, if you're doing, like, entirely story decks, it's like, you're, you know, you're playing as the same person for, like, every duel, and their decks don't change that much. Like, they'll add a couple cards here and there, but, uh, you know, it's not, uh, whatever. Then you can change the target to this card. When this card is destroyed instead of the graveyard, one face-up monster your opponent controls, these thousand attack until the end phase. Oh, what do we need polymerization for? That is new. Fabled Ganashia. Alright. Bad choice. Bad first choice. Okay, he's going real... Oh, yeah, I got zero guard now, too. Yeah, I can tribute this card to activate its effect. Monster, you're not taking advantage damage during this turn. This effect can be activated during each player's turn. So, Stardust Dragon. Where where's the fusion card? Junk destroyer, junk synchron plus. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, junk archer again. Here we go. One dragon type synchro monster plus one warrior type monster. Okay, so Stardust Dragon plus any warrior that I might have. Once returning to target, just string and banish that target. And if you do, until the end phase, this card's name becomes that monster and replaces the effect of the monster's original effect. So I can turn it back into Stardust Dragon. I guess it's just a powered up version of Stardust Dragon. While this card is in attack position, your opponent takes any effect damage you would have taken from their card effects instead. Okay. I mean, that's fine. That doesn't seem that great, but I guess that's cool. I guess that's fine. Anyway. Let's add a Synchron. This is the only Synchron. We don't even have Quick Draw Synchron anymore. Oh, and they put ex... I don't understand how they put exactly the right card in the... I don't under... I don't get it, but that's cool. Okay. But we're not quite there with wanting to do that. Yep, now you're level 2. And anybody who wants to attack Max Warrior has to instead attack Ghost Gardener. So he's going to stay alive. Yep, as uh, expected. Target one Synchron. And yeah, Synchron Explorer is so good because it does basically what Junk Synchron does with level 2 monsters, but it does it with tuners, like my Synchron tuners. So that is real nice. We're going to summon you. Because I want Quibble Hedgehog to die so it can go in the graveyard. And then, uh, yeah, essentially, die. Okay, we'll play with this. Yeah, cool, yeah, you know, you're dead. Alright, we'll just attack directly with you. Ah, scapegoat. What an annoying card. Continue to attack, I guess. Kill some of those things. Alright, we got two level fours right now. One level four, level two. Well, now that's not exactly what I was... Oh, yeah. Oh, you get to lose the thousand attack now. All right, we got you. But we can still essentially, like, do what we needed to do here. Yep, summon target one level two or lower. And it's cool because it's an effects get negated, so when it does get used then it, this particular one will not be banished afterwards. But I am still going to do this. Yeah, you get to go there. And I could turn that into Junk Archer instead, but I'd rather it be Junk Warrior with the extra attack. So yeah, let's use the... We use the one with that so it goes back in the graveyard. 
the one that, that it, its effects are negated. Alright, so you're now 3100. I can destroy one car, one monster. I don't need to do that at this point right now. It doesn't appear, so... Okay, and you're not using, like, Mirror Force or nothing on me. No Dimensional Prison from Gene. Okay. Tuning. Yeah, why not? Let's do this again. Come to me, Junk Synchron. Put Palmerization in the graveyard? That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Now with Junk Synchron, we can make Stardust Dragon. And bring you back. Actually, we could do this. Target up to the number of non-tuners. Destroy those targets. This is actually better. I can destroy a monster and do this. Junk Destroyer. Yes, he lost attack. But, if you really think about it, I can destroy this card. And that's really important what I just did. So, like, you know... That's very good, okay? Like, it might not make sense to you now, but it will later. Like, you know, you'll see at the end. Oh, prom yeah, I promise. And I wanted to use Junk Synchron as a tuner at that moment. So then Synchron Explorer would then normal summon and bring it back. Hypnocorn. Oh, you got me. Oh, you're starting to mount that comeback. All right, whatever you say. Uh, let's summon you. Synchron Explorer. Why don't you come on back, Junk Synchron? I think. Yes, it's, it's it's its effects also get negated, so it can't, like, you know, when it's summoned and, you know, stuff. But still also would only be when it was normal summoned regardless. And see, you know what? Now we've got our junk. We've got our junk warrior right back. Okay, so we just kind of went full circle with that one. And I knew that that, that was going to happen. So don't act like I'm misplayed. That would no, of course not. I, I everything that I do is with such diligence. Uh, yeah. So kill you. Bye bye. Uh, kill whatever this is. It was actually pretty likely that its defense would be low enough that Quobold Hedgehog would be able to kill it, but at the same time, you know, sometimes you just gotta put Scrap Iron Scarecrow down during your main phase, too, just to make sure that, uh, you know, no, well, you know, just to make sure that Mystical Space Typhoon activates and then it dies. That's, that's really why you gotta do it. All right. Rapid Warrior. During your main phase 1, you have to give you you can attack your opponent directly this turn. Other monsters can attack during the turn. You activate that effect, though, so you got to be careful. Be super careful. I'm going to target this monster. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it just like that, so I don't have to waste nothing. Waste nothing like that. And uh, we just won, so, you know, that's cool. This is how you win the game, but don't activate Rapid Warrior's effect or else you'd ruin it because no one else would get to attack and then you would just cry in your lap. Bye-bye, Gene! Gene. My team poured everything we had into getting into this tournament, but I let you rattle me. I don't know how you did it, but you really got under my skin. This is not Team Unicorn's defeat, you say. This is my defeat. I won't let you take all the blame, but it's true, I lost. I got stupid and careless and threw away all of our efforts. What are you talking about? You were amazing out there, Gene. I've never been prouder to be your teammate. You're always so cold and calculating, Gene, but this time you were passionate. It was great. I can't imagine anyone dueling someone with your energy and skills and not feeling the same way, you say. Thanks, Brio. God, that almost makes it sound like bro, I hate it. We should be thanking you. This duel may have changed how Team Unicorn does things. And for the better. 
Yeah, I already have his deck. All right, Duel for Redemption is going to be Jack Atlas versus this guy whose hair I will never understand. Let's do it. And who also has the Team Rocket symbol on his thing for someone, kind of, just a little bit. Oh, well. Team 5Ds came out victorious. Their next match was against Team Ragnarok and their mighty Aesir cards. Three cards that were rumored to rival the power of the gods. The first duel was between Jack Atlas and Dragon. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll use the story deck that we have not used Jack Atlas's deck. I don't think even at all. During this whole thing. Now, the Nordic and Acer decks are pretty potent a bit. They're, it's kind of difficult to get their super high-level Synchro monsters on the field that have like 4,000 attack. But when, if you do get it on the field, like it, it's not quite game over, but oh, you have Trap Eater too. Uh, that's where I got my card from you. Uh, my Fiend deck has that card. Uh, okay, during your opponent's main phase, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, then take one face up effect monster and negate that opponent's face up monster's effects till the end of this turn. Okay. Top runner, all phase up machines. Okay, Synchro Dive for one. Just to negate the attack and destroy one monster. Okay. We'll just go ahead and put that down. And then I guess we will um, set this card. Maybe you will be afraid to attack me. Do you think maybe you'll be afraid to attack? I think if you are afraid to attack my effect bailer, although you are using giant rats, so that would be a card that you would not really care if it happened to die. Because then you just special summon the other card from it, you know, you special summon Earth Monster. Which basically in your sense means Nordic Monster. Most of the Nordic Monsters are Earth Monsters, so you could get those. You know what I'm saying? Attacks a defense position make a sick attack, but unfortunately this is not defense position, so we have kind of problem when thinking about that right there. Now, I want to... Sending one face-up trap card your opponent controls to the graveyard. I wonder if that can happen during my opponent's turn, like as a quick effect response to that. Although I think if it could, it would maybe label it as such. As a quick effect. But that would be cool if it could. That would be nice. Like, for example, you use a trap card that adds a Nordic monster from your deck to your hand. Which is probably what one of those is. Oh, call the Haunted. That's pretty... That's the card that I'm probably going to get rid of. So that's cool. Alright. But unfortunately, yeah, Gammer kill, kills himself so he can return my card. It's like, it's like Hyper Hammerhead, basically. So he's send me to my hand. Okay, special summon. Get rid of Call of the Haunted, which kills that card conveniently, which is nice. Also, it's a tuner, which I never really... Um, you can send this kind of target one tuner monster. It cannot be destroyed by battle, also taking a battle jam. No, I don't need that. If anything, I need that card right there. Okay, so hold on. Yeah, Red Dragon Archfiend, as expected, but then... Two tuners plus Red Dragon Archfiend. Wow. Interesting. But this does, you know, we get Red Dragon Archfiend right now. So that's cool. You just see, yeah, I have to make the effect of a card. No, actually, that's fucking stupid. I mean, it's not. If I've got a level 3 tuner, that will pair nicely with that Barrier Resonator right there. Target one monster your opponent controls, destroy that target. I'd rather just attack it and do the battle damage, you know? Like, you're gonna summon another giant rat right now? Or else the Nordic monster that you want at the end of that. Yeah, yeah Tans Grizzner, that's the one. That That's basically Dandelion, so I'm not really sure why it's not limited, but Dandelion is. But I guess it's because... Dandelion's effect activates if it's sent to the graveyard by anything, but Tans Grizzner's only if it's by battle. Which in that case, since Tans Grizzner's such or Tan Grizzner is such a since I've played with these decks before, I've played with the Nordic decks. It's a really integral part of getting his Nordic monsters on the field, because you know it gets that you can use those tokens as synchro material. Uh, that's why I wanted to destroy it before, you know, something like that could happen. And 
yet. So unfortunately, we can't use Top Runner because it needs two tuners for it. And still, like, equally stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, piercing damage sounds like my jam right now. And it's another giant rat, okay. Which then turns into exactly, yeah, of course. Of course. Alright, fine. You know what? Fine. I'm gonna abide your wishes. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That is such garbage. Well, we got ourselves a little problem. All he needs is the right monster, and that might be it. No, you're still not synchron with it. I forget how many stars it is. I thought it was like maybe 10 or 11. 433 3 is 10, so maybe it's 9. That could be, I guess. Its effects are negated. Its level is reduced by one. Its defense becomes zero. Also, it's banned. What is the point of that, then? I mean, I kind of get it. I could use it for Red Dragon Archfiend to make it synchro material. But that's still really not going to help me at all. This turn... Uh, there's just not really a lot that I can... Oh, well, these two combined is actually not bad. I'm going to set that card. Effects negated, defense becomes zero, cannot change his battle position. Oh my god. You would. You would do that. Negate the attack and destroy one monster. That's gonna be that monster. And now it has been saved. Red Dragon Archfiend still lives. Actually, reducing its level by one is, like, exactly what I needed. Unfortunately, you were a bullshit asshole and decided to kill my thing that I totally needed there. Level four. But Pinpoint Guard is going to bring it back. I have to summon Top Runner. I have to kill you. Okay. Now I guess we just hope that you only set a card. Or actually no, because you or the oh we have to hope that you only attack with one card. Oh god, but that's not going to happen anymore. Oh boy, look who it is. Negate the effects of all face-up monsters. Where our effects are already negated. Well, destroyed by opponent's card by battle or sent to the group. Banish one Nordic Beast tuner monster, special summon this card. Yeah, that's the problem with the Acer monsters. They're really hard to get rid of. Monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Where is my you? I need you right now. I need a level one tuner. Or is this even better? No, it doesn't matter. A level one tuner, that's the important part. Okay, you still killed it. I thought it made it so that none of my monsters could be destroyed by battle. Fucking shit. Okay, cool. So, you know, how do we just bring back Red Dragon Archfiend now? It's like every time we always have one or the other. I've got the tuners that I need, but now I need the card, and I don't have it. So, target one monster with zero defense. Oh, but you don't have zero defense, if only... Zero defense. I could mad Archfiend. Oh, I can make... Ooh! I can make another Red Dragon Archfiend right now. This is the exactly the card I needed. Oh my god, that's so nice. You, get over here. Oh, do not. Do not ruin this for me! Oh! 
Fuck. You. So hard. So hard. For mother fucking Yeah. That was it. That was what I needed. It would have been so good. Oh, I forgot how much defense that card had, but I'm going to attack it. Oh, it was exactly the amount. Well, I guess it's better that it's flipped face up now. Hooray. Don't attack my monsters, you asshole. Oh, I saved one. Give me my Red Dragon Archfiend. Well, you basically did, but like... Well, I'm, well, it's not basically. You did. I have Red Dragon Archfiend now. But the fact that you already have your Acer monster means that there's like nothing I can do here. Mmm, kill. Do much life point damage. Where's my Call of the Haunted? Like, these story decks are known for having their Call of the Haunted, so where's mine? If I'm gonna use them, I'm gonna take advantage of what the advantages that they bring. Where's my dumbass Call of the Haunted? Target one Acer. It can make a second. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Awesome! Awesome! Oh, you mean do that thing that I tried to do? And that would have totally gotten me the monster that I needed to win? Oh, should I do that? Should I do that this time? I think maybe I should do that this time. Okay, that's what I'll do then. This time I'll summon Masked Chameleon and use it to special summon a monster from my graveyard with zero defense. And then someone won't activate breakthrough skill and ruin my entire life. You think? You think that? Do you think that'll happen? I think that'd be nice. That should have been mine. I should have had that with the rank 12 Synchro Monster like three separate times during that duel. Pissing me off. Pinpoint Guard. This card destroys the road by battle. You can have the attack of one face of monster your opponent controls and duel the end phase. Well, how nice is that? It's super nice. Okay. Well. Turning it on, be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage, but that does not help. Does not help me, unfortunately. It does not help. Does not. You're gonna get set because you're gonna go into the graveyard, and then when I get like masked chameleon or something, maybe I'll tune you if perhaps I require that. Who knows? Kill it, bitch. I'm just doing exactly what I want you to do. And if you think otherwise, you're fooling yourself. Equal the difference, plus 300 during... Yeah. Pride for Roar, that's how you kill an Acer monster right there. 16, 7. Shit. Set card. Set the card. You can't kill it with that. Oh, but yeah, after damage calculation, you can kill it with that. It cannot be killed by... There's no reason to do that. There's zero reason. Mmm, thanks. I really wanted that card back. I appreciate it. Thank you for your service. Top Runner. It would have been real nice if you just let Twin Shield Defender stay on the field, but instead you had to be a fucking asshole, I guess. So that's cool. During either player's turn. Yep, well, this is how this works now. Top Runner. No, not during this turn. Next turn I will do that. But that also doesn't matter, because you're going to attack it with this anyway. Oh, Die. Die. Kill it. Die. 
fine, but you're dead. That is so not fair. From your... D that is so retarded. That's too good. Oh, my ass in my face. My own ass in my face. That's what you've done. Pinpoint guard was not meant so I could special summon effect Valor. Although now I totally have to because otherwise I'm going to take my super hard damage. Super lots of damage if I do that. I'll call the haunted. I'll go fax. Yeah, bring him back. Come on, bring him back. Oh, it cannot be targeted by a card effects while this card is on the field. Oh my god. Let's activate pinpoint guard, you know, just to like make sure that we don't get absolutely ass raped right now. Oh, I'm so sorry. During the player's turn. Oh, to, no, it's already cannot be destroyed by battle. So, you know what? Let's not be stupid, okay? Okay. Oh, Colada Haunted. That card I could have used a long ass time ago. Well, okay. Top runner gets to go to the graveyard. Activate the effective card? No, I don't think we'll activate the effective card. Hmm, Tuner Monster. It cannot be destroyed by battle. No, we're still gonna do that next turn. We are gonna do it. Yes. Because that will force him to attack my face down card instead. Chain another card effect? No, I don't need to. No. Yes, destroy my top runner. You filthy beach. Now, cannot be targeted with the sentence card of the graveyard during your second standby phase after activation. Oh, okay, so it's almost done. Activate the effect of the card. Uh, yeah. Hmm, yes, we're doing that. Hmm, you get to. Uh, why don't you come on back? I'll face up synchro monsters. I control. Unfortunately, I wish I didn't have to use it for the synchro material, because then I could kill Thor, Thor Lord of the Acer. Ah, but I can't. But I just cannot. I like to keep Giant Orc. Although, actually, I wouldn't. Because then I can tar target someone with zero defense. Yeah, you, you're the one. You need to go into my graveyard. Because then Mass Chameleon can special summon you. So, Red Dragon Archfiend. Put them away. If only I had another Call of the Haunted. Then I could bring back... Uh, what's his name? Top runner again, and then we could just kill this thing outright. That would be nice. Not be targeted. This, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Anyway. Ah, oh, God. And I can't use synchro blast wave because you can't be targeted right now. Oh, that does not feel good. Oh, and this is gonna. If I don't attack, this is gonna destroy my monsters that didn't attack right now. Well. I guess that's what happens. Wait. If your monster battles an opponent's monster with higher attack, yes, let's kill him. Activate the effect of a card. Prideful Roar. We're going to destroy your monster. Awesome. Uh, he gets to, like, special summon it again, though, or something. Like, he gets to just bring it right the hell back, I think. Like, he just gets to bring it right the hell back. Yeah, so now, during the end phase of this phase of card, you control was destroyed by your opponent's card by battle, or you can banish one Nordic Beast. Tuner monster from your graveyard, special summon this card. Nordic Beast. Do you have Nordic Beasts? Why, yes, you have three Nordic Beast cards, so you get to special summon it three times. I have to banish that shit. I have to banish that shit so hard. One of these days, I'm gonna banish that shit. Yeah, by all means, kill my own monster. I wanted it in the graveyard anyway. No, you asshole. That's such a pisser. I hate this bitch. Oh my god, dragon. Oh, dragon, dragon. I hate dragon right now. Let me call the haunted. Dude. Let me call the haunted. Oh, you're gonna make another Thor Lord of Acer. All right, cool. That's really cool because then, like, at the end, during the end of this phase, like, you're gonna have a second one of those. And then, yeah, you can summon that card if you want to. And then end phase, yeah, like, like turn change. You're choosing not to bring it back for some reason. Oh, call the haunt! Oh, it actually gave me what I wanted. Wow. 
Okay. Uh, that's cool. Unfortunately, I have to live through this next turn. Because I'm going to activate it on my turn. Because that way it doesn't die immediately. And then I can use Synchro Blast Wave to kill that thing. So, this card you control is destroyed by battle. You can have the current attack of one face-up monster your opponent controls until the end phase. I mean, that's not as cool because, like, you know, you're going to attack with Thor and, like, that's kind of pointless to lower that thing's attack at that point then because we're not, you know, can't attack it with anything. Okay, just don't be Mystical Space Typhoon, please. No, call the Haunted. I'll bring back Gomer of the Nordic Beasts. All right, cool. It's weird that you did not, uh... Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, that's why. That's right. You did this so you could be an... Oh, but no, we still have a way out of this. No, go ahead. I have to eat that damage. But guess what damage I'm not eating this damage? Use Call of the Haunted. I'll bring back my Red Dragon Archfiend. That's right. And don't think you can kill my shit, either. Not before I kill your shit. I'm gonna kill your shit way before you kill my shit. You understand? Do you understand me right now? Synchro Blast Wave. I'm gonna kill this shit right there. Bye-bye. Nice knowing ya. Oh, is he gonna bring it back? Well, yeah, of course he's gonna bring it back. But, like, that's gonna be fine. Because also we just got Pinpoint Guard. And Pinpoint Guard would probably be used to bring back Top Runner, which could make Red Dragon Archfiend strong enough to not die. I am so good. Um, we can have, yeah, set this card. Set that, set it. You only return cards to the hand if it's level four or lower. I am going to kill the shit out of that card. Die so hard. Yes, indeed. Oh, but you're giving him more fuel to use his Synchro Monster's effects from, you know, raising themselves from the graveyard. Well, he hasn't done it yet. Maybe something's preventing him from doing so. Maybe he needs to have, like, control no cards or something? I don't know. Oh, there we go. There he's at. He's bringing it back. Okay. That was exactly the amount... I'm so mad! Uh... Such garbage. I'll play Master Chameleon if I have... Oh, yeah. Uh, it seems like you are really, really looking to be demolished... Baba Battery Man! I don't give a shit. I'm gonna murder this guy. My story deck is primed to work against him. It's just not giving me the cards that I need at the right point. So, rather than try to make something like that work, I think we'll just get a really shitty draw with our Battery Man deck instead. Perhaps. Oh, not as shitty anymore. Okay. Like, that's really... As long as I get this card, I can make it work. But yeah, we'll do that. Uh, summon you. Yep, activate the effect, uh, so that we can then get another one of these. Add to our hand. Let's kill Tans Grinner. No, Vanitas of the Nordic Ascendant, damn. Wasn't even a card that mattered if it died, awesome. Such a dick, why do you gotta ruin my fun? Uh. I really need Battle Fader. Battle Fader really kind of brings this whole thing together. Like, that one, if I had Battle Fader, I would then, because, like, if I'd summon that, you know, then, you know, it leaves my life points open for attacks. But then if I had Battle Fader, like, it would be perfect. It would be the perfect thing. So, uh, Battery Man 9 Bolt. Activate the effect of Battery Man 9 Bolt. Yeah, I think we should. We should activate the effect of Battery Man 9 Bolt. Battery Man 9 Bolt is going to then bring you... Because I think it's more important that we flip later now, after this. Die. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, kill yourself. Would have been nice if we had Supply Squad, but he decided to be a dick and get rid of it. Oh, would you love the one that's the same thing? That's okay, though. You've really got, like, nothing going on. And I like that. I like it when you have nothing going on. I could add both these guys to my hand. 
I'm not gonna do that. I could, but I'm not gonna. It's not as helpful as it may sound. So let's, let's do that. Oh, double tuner action right now. Flip special summon a monster. That monster is gonna be you. Hmm, yes. Activate the effect. Yes, activate the effect. Let's add you. Oh, no, actually not add you. We're gonna add you. Because I will have the ability to tribute on the next turn. And it let me draw another card, which is nice. And it, it doesn't destroy until the end phase of my turn. So that's what's cool. That's very cool. Let's use Battery Charger. Minus 500. Uh, yeah, why don't we bring you back? This is a new turn, so it's still going to let me do this. And then we can put another Battery Man Fuel Cell into my hand. Because we are going to special summon like the Dickens right now. And by that, I mean, like, I'm putting five monsters on the field this turn. Like, let's... All right, like that. That's what's gonna happen right now. Yes, activate the effect. Yes, yes, yes. Activate that effect. We're going to not from the hand though. Where's the one that's not in my hand? That would be this one. Special summon you. All right, and special summon you. All right, and special summon you. All right. And 3,000 attack, or the effect monster. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so it's part of the attack of all monsters your opponent currently controls becomes zero. That's the kind of thing that I like. So I just added basically a couple, like, because Armstrong's Battery Man deck doesn't have any extra cards. But I was like, you know, I think we should take advantage of some of these situations. Like how easy, pretty much easy it is to get, you know, two level sixes onto the field. So, yeah, all your guys' monsters attacks now zero, which is basically like attacking you directly hella a bunch of times, which is exactly what is going on. I might have lost a bit of attack from Battery Man Charger by doing that, but that really does not matter at all. I could use Short Circuit. I am not gonna, because it's way more important that we wreck! Ah... <sighs> He's such a- they're such dicks about it, you know what I mean? I mean, that did save him, but for how long, you know what I mean? For how long did that save him? Yep, yeah, you kill yourself afterwards. Dragon's only got 800 life points left. I'd like to see what he can do with it. Sards of Revealing Life, that is the kind of thing that, you know, that would really put a dampener on my spirits here. But unfortunately, what you fail to realize at this point in time is that I've got Battery Man D, and because of that, I've got Short Circuit! Destroy all cards your opponent controls! Destroy all cards and then wreck his ass! Wreck his ass with your face! But don't do it like that, because that's a little gay! Depending on the gender you are, gold facts of the Nordic Beast. Thor, Lord of Acer, and all those cards, yeah. Dragon's been defeated, and that makes me happy. That's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.